In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use OBS Studio to live stream to YouTube step by step. And we're starting right now. Hi there, David Walsh here, helping you grow your YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use OBS Studio, which is free software to live stream to YouTube. So let's head on over to the trusty computer. So if you haven't got OBS downloaded, go to obsproject.com and then you can download your version for your computer, whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux. Download the software and then install it. Once installed, you'll have a look similar to this, but you won't have all of this stuff on the side. But we'll get to that. So this is OBS Studio. So the areas in here are, this main window here is what's called the canvas. Uh, which we'll come to in a minute. Then we have our scenes down here, which are the different looks and feels you can have inside of your live stream. Now inside of each scene, there are a number of sources. So that's whether it is your desktop, whether it's videos, graphics, audio, etc. These all make up your scene. So you can layer these on top of each other to create complex scenes. Next here we have the audio mixer, which you can see my audio is going up and down right here. Then we have our scenes transitions and then we have our controls. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch it into studio mode. So what you'll see here is now we have two windows. So this is our preview canvas and then this is our program canvas. So the program canvas is the canvas that's going out on our live stream and then our preview canvas is the one that we can see before it goes live onto the live stream. So if I click on another scene here, you'll see that I have a lower graphic on the bottom of this particular video so I can see what this looks like before it goes live in this canvas here and I can try out various things here to see what they look like. Now, we won't be setting these up today, but I will be showing you how to do these in a later video. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the settings on here. Uh, we will set up a scene so that you can actually bring in your audio and your video and then connect that to YouTube so you can start live streaming. So let's head on over to the settings area here in our controls. So click on settings. So you'll see here we have a number of settings, like most of these you'll just leave as is. Under the general settings, I pretty much leave these as they are. Under stream, this is where we will connect our YouTube channel to our stream, which we'll come back to in a minute. Under output, now this is where we need to make some changes. So if you just wanna go with your bog standard stuff, leave it on simple, but you can change it to advanced and this allows you to uh, change things in here for better quality. So we want to leave our encoder as x264, that's fine. Now under rescale output, if you are using a 4K monitor, you don't want to have that 4K uploading to YouTube. It'll just take up too much bandwidth. Plus the quality isn't that much different than it is under 1080p. So if you have that, just select 1080 there under rescale output. Now in the next section, you can pretty much leave these as is and experiment with them after a while. Under bitrate, leave that at 2500. If your quality is good, you're not experiencing any downtime or anything like that on your live stream, you could then change this to say 3500. And if that's going well, then you could change it to maybe 4500 or 5000 uh, kbps. The higher the number, obviously the higher the quality. If you have a very fast upload speed on your internet, if you've got like 20 or 30 meg plus uh, consistently on your internet, then you can move this up to maybe 4,000 or maybe 5,000. Uh, if you are around the 10 meg upload, then leave it at 2,500, see if that goes okay. Then change it up to maybe 3,000 or 3,500 and just see how that works out for you. If it does have a long lag on your live streams, then you'll need to switch it back down. Then the rest of these, you can pretty much leave as is. Under audio, uh, under sample rate, leave it at 44.1. There's no real reason to go to 48. Channels, you definitely want to leave as stereo. Under desktop audio, if you click on that and have a default there, then select that. I don't, so I'll leave it alone. So under auxiliary audio, so you'll see here, I've selected my microphone. So just click on that. I've got my Yeti stereo microphone there. I also have a microphone on my Logitech 920, which I can select as well. Uh, I can also use the MacBook Pro microphone as well, but I just wanna use my Yeti microphone there. 
I have selected the other mics under auxiliary, but I have them switched off, which I will show in a minute. Under the other settings, you can pretty much leave them as is. Next under video. Now under canvas, you can have this at 4K if you have a 4K monitor. But what you want to do is your output resolution definitely shouldn't be any more than 1080p. When you're downscaling your 4K, the picture will look that bit better when it goes up to 1080p. And not many people are gonna notice any difference between 1080p and 4K on YouTube. So you can leave your output scaled resolution at 1080p. Now, if you do have problems with your stream that it is dropping off and you have put your output at 2500, then what you can do is you can change your common FPS values. So if you are at 60 frames per second, crank that down to 30. Or if you are in uh, Europe, then crank it down to 25. The higher the frame rate, obviously more data is being uploaded. So you can bring that down to 30 or 25, depending on what region you are in. See if that works. And if it doesn't, then bring this down to your output down to 720p, just to make the data upload that bit smaller, but you're still getting a good quality of video. Under hotkeys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave these for now, but at some point, if you want to have keys that do transitions and stuff like that, you can program these here. But for now, we don't need to do much with them. And under advanced, we pretty much don't need to do much here either. So if you've made any changes, click on apply right here and then okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to build a scene so we can uh, have a nice picture on here. So the first thing we need to do is to go down to the bottom left, click on the plus sign under scenes. So I'm just gonna call this scene two for now. So what we want to do here is add our audio, we want to add video, all of these things to this particular scene so we get a nice picture. So I click on plus. So the first thing I want to do is to add video capture device. So I'm gonna give this a name. Now I have existing cameras on here. If you have this set up, you can take an existing one. I'm just gonna use one of those already and create a new capture device. So I'm just gonna give this a name. So Logitech, click on okay. And then it's gonna ask me which device I want to use. So that's this one here. And I want to have my preset actually at 1080p so we can see it fills that particular canvas there so click on OK now if you don't have any mics set up or if you've got number of mics setting up here what you can do is you can switch those off so you'll see here this is my uh, onboard mic so I'm gonna switch that off and then you'll see that that is now gone and this one here is my Blue Yeti. So you can see that the audio is going up and down. And I wanna make sure that this stays pretty much in the green and a little bit in the yellow, but definitely not too much in the red at all, because that means that it's peaking there. So I'm just on the right side of that. And I could even put the microphone a bit further away for me so that I get good audio. So now I've got a basic canvas set up. I can now connect to my YouTube channel and go live. Before we continue with the rest of the video, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays to help you grow your YouTube channel. So I wanna go back to settings once again. So this time under stream. So what I need to do is connect YouTube under the service tab here and then put in a stream key. So let's do that now. So under the drop down, I'm gonna select YouTube slash YouTube Gaming. Now you can go to Facebook Live or if you've got a Restream account, you can use that. Periscope, Twitch, Mixer, etc. So you can go to all of these services with OBS Studio. But for now, I'm just gonna to go to YouTube. So click on that. So the next thing we need to do is to go to YouTube, set up a stream and get a stream key. So let's do that. So here I am inside of YouTube Studio. So I'm gonna go here to go live or I can go up the top if I'm just on YouTube and then click on go live. So if you've set up lives on your channel before, you may get the option here to copy from a previous one. And again, you can see this is a demo one I've done before. So I'm gonna dismiss and then go from scratch. So I wanna make sure that I am under stream rather than webcam. So under stream will allow me to connect my OBS studio to my channel and go live from there. 
So I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to put it as unlisted. And again, you can go private, unlisted or public. Uh, private will cause you more problems. They need to connect people with their email address on there. If you only want certain people to see your live stream, set it as unlisted. If you want everybody to be able to see your live stream, then select public. So I'm going to select unlisted. I'll then give this a description. Then make sure you're in the correct category. Now I can schedule this for later. So I'm going to click on that and then I can select a time that I want to go live at. So I say if I want to go at 5 p.m. Now I can also upload a thumbnail here as well. But for the sake of this one, I won't. And then click on create stream. So what I want is my stream key. So I'm just going to click on copy here. I don't need to see it. I just need to copy that. So I head back to OBS. Then I just paste that in there. And now I have my stream key. Then I click on OK. So now I can start streaming. So if I click on start streaming here and I go over to YouTube, you'll see that I have the green light here. I'm going live from my OBS software and you will see my picture pop up here. So there will be a bit of a lag. Uh, maybe 10, 20 seconds or something like that. But you'll see my picture is now popping up here in the preview area. Once you're done with your stream, you can click on stop streaming. That is pretty much it. You're all done. You can click on exit just to exit out of the software. I will be going through how to set up lower thirds, moving graphics and stuff like that in other videos. So make sure to look out for them. If you have any questions about live streaming or how to use OBS, make sure to pop them in the comments area below. What are you going to stream on your YouTube channel with OBS Studio? Let me know in the comments area below. And if you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you'd like to get more out of your live streams and make them look more professional, make sure to hit that link right there.